just give it a couple of minutes as usual for folks to trickle in. I think since we just hopped off of a meeting, some folks might be refilling their water and doing things. So we'll just give it as usual. I think we usually give it till 503 or so. So we'll do that. 503. No, that's too late. Uh, thanks for the update in the chat. Hey, DJ. <laughs> yes. Ooh, there's a lot of. I'm eating a hunk of. <laughs> Guys, I shouted out Marina in public, and I'm gonna post it here so you can all embarrass her as well. Oh my gosh. Also, like a bunch of other people, but it turns out it's really hard to only pick 19 great analysts because there's a million of them. So I started with 19. Why? Because it's my favorite number. But I feel like if this does well, I'll just do it more often. Thank you, DJ. <laughs> you did. Yeah, I, I do feel weird as one of them. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. I guess it's a really good thing that when you shout out 19 analysts from the community, and that's like nowhere near enough to shout everyone out. I think that's very positive. I thought about doing 100, and I probably actually can, but that's a really long thread. I would read it. Oh, maybe, maybe this is a thing I should do. All right, you're creeping up on 5.03, our precisely, it's kind of late, but also kind of precise. So I think that works out. And it looks like this is our group to start with. So I think we, we kick off. Any objections? No. And uh, okay. yeah. oh, never mind, I'll just say that later. Matrix recording, but that's part of the intro slide. All right, let's get this uh, show on the road. So as always, we're here every week to enable Metric DAO and the community to understand what everyone's working on. Uh, please stay muted unless you're speaking. This call is recorded, as I just said. <laughs> I'm repeating myself, sorry about that. Um, this meeting is time boxed to half an hour and we can take further discussions offline. And uh, we'll do a real quick one of kind of season four goals um, and then um, I'll pass the stage off to GJ for a special update for season four and then moving towards decentralization as metrics DAO. And then finally, we'll go for the pod updates um, that we do with standard. So let's uh, let's do a real brief one. This season, we've been focusing on our value centers, our analysts, protocol and app, data providers, and deepening partner relations, metrics DAO brands, and our contributors. And with that, I'm going to pass it off to GJ for um, quick, or not quick, however you want, reflections on our uh, big news and next steps that came out last week. Yeah, so I posted last week in Dowling in public uh, and a few other places, but just to recap for folks, um, season four will end at the end of June, uh, at which point uh, Flipside will not be funding um, the service layer for the DAO. And so for the next month, we will all be chatting about business models and how we want at either the pod level or collectively to you know, move toward a decentralized future to consider other operations to or other options to monetize. Um, all ideas are on the table at this point. Uh, the metrics app will continue to process and run challenges and V2 of that will be coming later in June. But this will be the next step toward being less reliant on a single income stream uh, and give us all the opportunity to figure out how we want to process that and how we want this to evolve going forward. So no right answers there and nothing is off the table either. Um, I guess the, the personal element is I will be less involved on a day-to-day -day basis uh, as will Aaron, but we're also not just going to turn into a pumpkin, although that would be cool. I would like that power. Uh, so 
you know, we'll still be around in the community doing stuff wherever possible. Um, I think that probably does it. I will try to stay brief, Marina. I'm very bad at it, but there's my attempt. Thanks, DJ, for the update. Yeah, I really didn't mean to kind of rush our structure. That just uh, came up. I really appreciate that. Would you take questions if anyone has them? I'll or take, offline? Yep. I'll take all the questions online, offline, in line, red line. Anyone wants to jump in? You can also put them in the chat if you'd rather not hop on mic. I'm good with whatever. Mm. Gabe is typing. It's probably more. Yep. There it is. <laughs> I knew that one was coming. All right. If there are no immediate questions, DJ, we appreciate your willingness to offer or answer them offline as well. So I'm sure a few of us might hit you up over time with the questions. You can slide into my DMs, I think the kids would say. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, with that, we'll, we'll keep going. Yeah. We have directly an update, I believe, from Zook today talking and about value. analytics. And and yes. Hi, everyone. I'm going to start with some data on good analytics value. and peer review. And then I'll give you a few updates value. on bounty odds. So for analytics, I think the most important uh, data point here is the chart on the bottom right. Clearly, active analyst um, going down. Um, engagement is um, not as strong, especially in the last week. But let's wait until we have a full week of data before we um, interpret that last uh, bar on the chart. Um, I think tomorrow or the day after we'll have a full seven days, so that might look different. But definitely, you can see the weekly active analyst is going down in the app and that's because we're, we're we haven't launched as many challenges in the last week um then um bottom left our notion data also going down a bit uh, weekly analysts are submitting through notion is also uh reducing um so at the top, so cumulative stats, 27 new analysts. Here's the app. These stats are all for the last two weeks, by the way, because we didn't meet last week. So the data is for the last two weeks. Uh, submissions, total cumulative submissions in the app, close to 1,000 already. And um, seven challenges were launched in the app since last time. So let's keep going with some peer review data. Thank you, Marina. Um, so uh, in the last two weeks, we've paid close to 300 submissions through the app. And um, some, I'm also sharing some new uh, reviewer data. There's been close to 7,000 reviews in the app, which is quite impressive. Because once that goes and uh, there's uh, 268 distinct addresses that hold our metrics. And the average R metric holding of an address is 10,000. So this information can be useful uh, in V2 when we have the option of uh, requiring a minimum number of R metrics to submit for challenges. We'll have this option available to us in V2. So knowing that the average holding is 10,000 R metric could be used. Um, let's see if there's a question. No? OK, so I can update you on bounty ops. So, thank you. Thank you, Marina. Uh, we shift. So these are. Two week updates for the last two weeks. We shipped 11 analytics challenges. And uh, we spoke with Flipside to prepare challenges for June and to continue to support Flipside even in season five um, as best as we can. 
we're always happy to to help uh, Flipside. All pitches, one sign. So um, <clears throat> this week's priorities, we're, we're planning to ship five to seven challenges this week. And uh, just some other updates on what we've been doing. Um, our contributor, Digital Dan, is applying for a AVE grant. And we hope that's going to help us obtain a new source of revenue. We're also exploring possibilities of reaching out organizations that are not Web3 native and help them out with their data analytics needs. So um, not only Web3 uh, companies can use the Metrics app, but uh, perhaps uh, traditional companies could use it as well. So we're exploring that and perhaps reaching out to um, to relevant uh, companies that are seeking um, staff or, uh, that are looking to employ data analysts. Maybe instead of hiring someone, they can use us instead. Uh, concerns or blockers. There's fewer incoming challenges, especially in the last week. So that's why we're seeing engagement go down a little bit is because we, we have uh, fewer challenges. Um, more uh, technical uh, blockers and oftentimes our Gnosis safe, our multi multi fig wallet is often empty. So sometimes we're ready to launch a challenge and then we see we don't have funds in the wallet. So that can delay challenge launch. Um, and also another technical uh, difficulty is um, the Pine Network is trying to launch a challenge right now they're encountering an error message which i copied uh, invalid address and uh, i tried to help them out but i'm not really sure what the cause of this error message is so if anyone knows you can let me know or uh, hop into the pine uh, channel and just help them with this error message so they can launch their account so thanks for your attention. I'm happy to take any questions or discuss anything about Bounty Ops. That's a new error message, but I can take a look. I don't know what invalid address could mean, but we can figure it out. OK, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Zook. And thanks, Nomadic, for jumping on this. If there are no questions right now, let's keep us going with protocol dev updates. Cool. Hey, everyone. Yeah, so pretty good week. We are still pushing on the like labor market V2 app. That's probably the biggest chunk of work the team is on. Um, good progress. We also have a lot of like vacations last week and this week. Um, Well-deserved. Summer is ramping up. The team has been kicking ass the last six months. The cross-chain payments last week, we kind of wrapped up the like legal and compliance reviews, which is a huge milestone. Uh, this week, we're planning on like kicking it off. Uh, we're not sure what that's going to look like for the public yet, but we're going through the flows with real funds targeting this week. There might be some complications yeah. because of the SEC with Binance today talking about Solana. And so we're doing our diligence and making sure like as the laws change, we're on top of them. And they're changing daily, of course. Oh, uh, yeah. Team is crushing it. Going to keep pushing on that V2 integration. Thank you. Thank you, Nomadic, for this update and for the all the hard work, as always. This was, um, we're really excited for V2 to come out. And we're starting to prep some docs as well for that. Awesome. Um, let's <laughs> think. Let's go to, uh, do we have James? Or do we not? Do some of the updates anymore? What's the read on this? I that's actually a really good question. Uh, I think James might just be out today and tomorrow, but we should probably mm -hmm. figure out what we're updating on anyway. For now, let's just skip this one, and I'll have a better answer by next week of who's sticking around and who's not. Appreciate that. All right, let's jump into GovOps with none. Hey everyone, um, this is a pretty short slide, but like you heard at the beginning of the call. 
Um, we're trying to decentralize a lot more. And so that's probably going to mean dissolving our legal entity, reforming another one, um, transferring IP. And so there's a lot of just technical stuff to figure out on the back end. Um, and that's probably going to be sure. mostly governance for the next couple of weeks. That's all I got. Thanks. This is, I mean, that's a bunch. The slide that looks um, really concise. There's so much work going on behind the scenes that you're working on. Do we have bills or is it kind of similar to BizDev and bills might be away? I think it, the slide looks to me the same as last week. So let's mm -hmm. um, skip that and we'll have um, a more coherent approach as a team next week for this. And let's go to marketing with Crypto Freedom. Yep, uh, interviewing with data partners to try to help with the, how does the DAO make money on the decentralization front um, and doing a bunch of what next season looks like, planning, coordinating with uh, the different um, contributors. PNS grants call where we applied to a couple of grants. Thanks for it to Marina and um, it's, it, Marina, who's the other person who's been helping us out. With grants. Marina stepped away. She was hoping I would take it away. Um, yeah, somebody else says, I apologize, I forget your name right now. Um, Negative Fun Thread, got 100 followers on Twitter last week, all good stuff. Um, doing, uh, continuing the promoting our existing um, educational courses. So near 101 promotion thread just went up earlier today. Um, looking to pitch partners on some services that they might be willing to pay for. And we're keeping the Twitter spaces rolling this week. Thanks, Crypto Friedman. Yeah, I didn't realize uh, uh, off mic, going off the mic and, or going on the mic and doing cameo was <laughs> expected. But yeah, it was a really fun to meet with ENS Public Goods and hopefully we are in the running to apply for their grant. Digital Dan. Digital Dan has also been helping out. Shout out with the grant. Indeed. He's driving grants as all of us, and um, Helix is project managing there a bit as well, or quite a lot as well. Um, are there any questions or anything to add for marketing, or are we good to jump to education? No objections? No questions? All right, let's do education with, with Vida. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, so we are continuing to run um, partner workshops and uh, webinars in, in June. So that's one of the focuses per usual. And um, with education, it's still not clear. Um, where, uh, what role is it going to play, um, if any, in the season five? So um, one of the big focuses this week is actually figuring that out. Um, as um, the are exploring the newest business models and uh, it's an education might not be the best um, the most viable solution for the current needs of the DAO um, yeah and other than that we are um, running at, the, at this point um, a web free analytics 301 program so uh, this week is the last week um, and we will have some graduates um, really soon. Thank you, Vida. Are there any questions for education? Vida, my question is what your playlist is, because that was super good. Oh, oh! I didn't realize that you you did you there you're hearing it. It's just some some background music. Um, I don't really know what it is to be honest. I just feel calmer and more happy. Oh, happy to hear that. <laughs> we're meditating with Metric Dow. And uh, so that we can go on meditating, we just have one last slide to cover, which is our community updates. Uh, for the past two weeks, since we did not meet last week, um, 
we've had our dashboard tear down on uh, May, I think, 24th it was. And Networks joined us for the first time. Um, Elvis showed up as um, a really thorough, amazing judge representing Eager Beavers. Uh, and we hope to have more Networks judging dashboards live um, going forward. And Networks kind of showing off the kind of the re reviewers they have and the criteria that they have. Then um, Rob put out uh, a really thorough payments and claims in Metrics app V2 documentation with examples with walkthroughs. Um, so please click on it, check it out if you're preparing to do analytics in V2, which is coming out soon TM. I think uh, someone has their mic on. Did you have a question or would you mind muting otherwise? Thanks. But yeah, questions welcome here or in chat if you do have them. Um, to continue with our past two weeks, um, we've put out two showcases for our top dashboards or great stellar analytics of those two weeks. Um, one was a Twitter pick, which we do now most of the time, and one of one was the entire top four. Um, so when we didn't do a Twitter vote pick, we just featured four because there's never um, there's never enough space to feature great work. So we were um, glad to have a little bit more spots there. And like uh, Crypto Freeman mentioned earlier on, uh, we've put out a grant application and met with the ENS Public Goods Group. Mm -hmm. Uh, they were really interested to hear about our reputation management and our networks and our X and our metric and kind of how we, uh, how reputation has evolved in metrics now, among other things. So it was really cool to chat with them kind of about some of our setup and our community. And this week, uh, we're putting out a another Metrics Minds weekly showcase, and we're going to be doing a Twitter vote again. So tomorrow, most likely, go on Twitter and vote for the dashboard you like best. Uh, as many other uh, contributors have mentioned earlier in this call, there's a bit of kind of future planning, self-identification as a pod, as a DAO going on. So we're definitely part of that as community pod. Um, more grants applications will be working on, I, I in, particular, in particular, will be working on this week and uh, R plus as well. We will um, try to put out more documentation for V2 preparing for the launch. Um, we're working with Gabe to coordinate um, some user research needs and his expertise with a, a few of the pods that we're working with. Um, we'll try to put out stickers. We've been, uh, it's been on our uh, kind of list in the, in the agenda for a while, but something fun, something representative of the Met of Metrics DAO. It's on the list. Uh, there is, I think, one design so far, and we're talking about some more, and our ghost is awesome, as always, for designing those. And something secret is being planned and cooked in our network's kitchen, so stay tuned for that. I would say probably as soon as this week or early next. And um, that's our priorities for this week. And not a concern, not a blocker, but definitely something that we're spending time thinking about and discussing is what Community Pod looks like for the remaining weeks of season four and also after for a big change and big decentralization um, transformation as a DAO. So if you'd like to chat about that, come find us in the Community Pod channel and the participate section of the Discord. And uh, that's, that's it for me for Community Updates. Uh, and unless there are any last minute or kind of wrapping questions, any points anybody wanted to make, that's our update for the week. This is your chance, everyone. I see Aaron stepping. All right, looks like there are no questions. Um, so we'll see you in Discord throughout the week. Have a great week. And uh, we'll do it again Monday, and we'll probably have some tweaks to the format, as mentioned before, for next Monday. So, yeah, see you then. Thanks, everyone, for joining. See you. See you, crew. Thank you. Bye. Bye.